What's up, guys? David Sherback here. Today, I'm back with the fourth episode of Dhamma Talk. Um, but before I want to, before I get into this, I want to talk about obviously Kobe Bryant. Um, obviously, you guys know that I watch a lot of basketball and I'm a basketball fan. But honestly, you don't even have to be a an NBA fan, a Kobe fan, a basketball fan to like understand the gravity of the situation. Um, so obviously, Kobe Bryant passed away on Sunday morning, I believe it was. And yeah, it's still like, I like I can't even like, like process that Kobe Bryant is actually not here anymore. It just seems super weird. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about that real quick. Um, because Kobe's a legend. Um, we gotta make sure that his name lives on. Whenever you guys shoot a piece of paper or anything, whenever you take a shot or throw anything, make sure to keep saying his name. Kobe. So yeah, I just wanted to talk to talk about that real quick. Um, we're gonna hop into this though. Um, I know this is about Kandama, but obviously that's been the story around at least me and it's probably around the world too so yeah let's hop right into this um our first topic here is actually another kind of down topic um well i guess not necessarily depending on how you look at it but um you guys probably saw that brian skagline actually has decided to kind of take a step back from kendama he's left the kendama usa team and um Obviously, he said he's still going to be part of the community and trying to go to events and stuff like that. But yeah, I just wanted to obviously appreciate Skagline for what he's done for Kendama. Um, his videos are awesome. His social media presence, just his presence in the community overall has been amazing. Um, so yeah, here's a, just a quick shout out to Brian Skagline. Um, obviously, he's not fully quitting Kendama, but... Like he said, he's going into a uh, a new path for his life. So yeah, shout out to Brian Skagline. I've touched on this a little bit briefly before in that video or in the last Top Tricks of the Week where I put one of his clips in there. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there because it's probably the biggest part of the Kendama news. All right, let's move into the new sweet stuff that dropped there is some new luzamaki or however you say it new damas from sweets that are coming out this friday 4 p.m central standard time so stay tuned for that these look super dope honestly like cushion clear boost shape they're limited so there's not going to be that many but look at the design on these obviously luzamaki uh has been a big part of sweets kanamas collabing with them over the years and these are so dope i love the obviously the design on the ken and then you got the uh the tama designs with the different colors too which is really dope um so yeah new stuff from sweets i might not copy cop these i might uh we'll see but yeah these are looking super dope and like i said friday 4 p.m cst uh make sure to go cop one all right i'm gonna try and pick up my energy a little bit here i know we started out with Kobe Bryant and yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna move on here. Sweets Kanama's dropping some stuff. And next up we have Battle at the Border. Now, obviously I haven't done one of these episodes in a while because Battle at the Border was at the beginning of January, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, Battle at the Border was dope. It looked dope at least. Obviously, I didn't go because I don't know. Uh, I'm po I'm broke and I can't afford it. Um, I'm trying to pull up the results here. I, I think, uh, I can't remember who won. I'm trying to remember. Um, here it is. Here it is. Okay. So, for the open division, first place, we got Alex Mitchell. That's who it was. Second place, DUSD. Third place, Jacob Treble. Shout out to all of them. Super dope. And then for freestyle, Logan Tosta took down the freestyle. First place. Shout out to Logan Mans is a Sacramento Kings fan, so I feel bad for you, but at least you got the dub. So, yeah, Liam Jr. <laughs> I just said Liam Jr. because I saw his <laughs> his Instagram name is Liam Jr. But Liam Router uh, got second place in freestyle and DUSD got third. So DUSD killing it. Third place in freestyle 
and second in open so yeah there's your uh battle at the border results like i said looked like a super dope event there was also some announcements at battle at the border um bjorn and jacob were announced on the sweet skin Amis team uh, i already talked about this a little bit uh i think in a top tricks episode about like kendama jacob being added to sweets but yeah that's crazy i remember like seeing this kid's instagram like a long time ago and he looked so much younger back then but now he's now he's killing it he's on sweet skinamas with bjorn wonder fuzz on instagram if you guys aren't following him go follow him right now and yeah that's that's super dope kendama jacob killing it kid is super good at dama by the way he's gotten like crazy good so yeah a couple of announcements there alex mitchell was also added to the soul kendama's pro team at battle at the border i'm pretty sure and he actually has a pro mod too i didn't react to the video or anything i don't think i'm gonna react to it but it's looking like a sick pro mod that's all i gotta say um let me find a little pic of it if i can um let's see let's see there it is okay obviously it's got the am at the bottom there for alex mitchell it's got a white kind of half split with that red in the middle there and then i believe the top part is i think it's like the streets of tokyo or the subway system something like that okay here it is yeah it is it's like the subway system of tokyo japan so that's cool uh yeah alex mitchell pro mod like i said there's an edit for it i didn't watch it but uh well i've i've watched it but i didn't react to it so yeah, there we go. Shout out to Alex Mitchell on being announced a Soul Kendamas Pro. Super dope pro mod. And yeah, let's move into the last part of it here. And now we're going to hop into the player of the week. I believe it's not really a player of the week anymore because the last episode I did was like four weeks ago. But I think I did uh, Kendama Jacob last. I'm pretty sure. And obviously he's on sweets now, so... He's just on the come up. Um, but this week, we're going to be uh, focusing on Adrian El Vambuena. I have no idea if I said your last name right. But yeah, Adrian here, he's in home. He's a homie uh, that's been repping Analog Kendamas a lot recently. And yeah, I, I want to put him in here because he's dope. His tricks are dope. His videos are dope. And obviously, he's repping Analog. So I got to show some love. Uh, I'll play a couple of his clips here. Why not? And yeah, just super sick. Let's watch this one. On the lavender berry. Oh my, look at that. I don't even know what you call that. Inward lunar. Something with the string back to inward lunar. Like. Bro. Shout out to Adrian. These clips are so dope. And yeah that that one's that one's crazy honestly i don't know what to say else what else to say about that um we got another one here the bamboo c-shape plus the yeti c-shape i don't think i've seen this one some stall stuff maybe oh my look at this look at how clean this is if you guys aren't following adrian go follow him he's gonna do a triple right here that deserves a follow that triple still backflip to inward is insane inward still and of course like i said rep and analog so yeah shout out to adrian uh go follow him on instagram at it be adrian and that's kind of it for this episode of dama talk i know i was gonna make these like weekly but i'm thinking that maybe like bi-weekly every two weeks because there's not that much stuff that goes on in the kanama community so doing one weekly probably isn't the best idea so i'll try and do these bi-weekly from now on um i have finished my exams actually today was my last exam bio probably failed it jk probably aced it but uh yeah exams are done i'm heading into my second semester now of grade 12 and this whole week i have free um because it's exam week obviously but i'm done all my exams so i'll have a little bit more time to film some stuff here and once school starts i can't promise anything but i will try my best to every two weeks try and get a dama talk out and every week 
get a top tricks of the week out that's going to be kind of my baseline for videos and then probably some mix and match in there some other kendama stuff some nba stuff probably oh also my raptors wrap up um i really want to do that show because i really want to just talk about the raptors and it gets like no views but i'm gonna keep doing it i'm gonna keep grinding hopefully some people outside of you guys notice it and hopefully you get some more views so i'm gonna keep doing raptors wrap up like i said dama talk every two weeks top tricks of the week and then throw in some other stuff in there so yeah that's the plan for the channel that's it for this episode of dama talk um i don't really know if i missed anything i probably did but i feel like that's the main stuff over this past like three or four weeks and yeah that's gonna do it for dama talk so thank you guys for tuning in Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe. We're, uh, we're almost at 12.5K, which is dope. We're going to try and get to 13K here soon. So yeah, go subscribe, go leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.